Scott put the question, what is a private placement? Yeah. You want to, do you want to touch on it or you want me to? Go ahead. Private placement. I is, talk all the time. Yes. You do. Private placement is, <laughs> is just an opportunity that is not a publicly traded or government backed opportunity. Um, it would be like uh, our fund is a private placement. It is an opportunity to invest your money into a privately held, um, what would you say? I guess privately held, not fund. syndication, but fund. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that's all that is. So it, privately held investment. Yeah. Private. That's that's the word. And for. Thank you. There, there's a lot of companies, and and, there, and and this is where you're getting a a lot of pushback from. Uh, I forget what the heck they're called now, but there are these groups of funds that will go in and instead of offering an, an IPO, mm -hmm. uh, they'll go in and fund these, these, these companies. Initial. What yeah, is an, it? Initial public offering, offering is what yeah. you would have if somebody yeah. wants to uh, trade publicly on the stock market, mm -hmm. but they have these funds now that will, they'll take money from investors uh, and they give you a criteria on the types of companies that they are looking to, to fund, mm -hmm. uh, they don't have it yet. <clears throat> they're, you're just hoping that they're going to find the proper companies, and then they go in and buy these companies before they get ever get a chance to uh, get on the open market. And that's also a private placement because they're limiting who the investors are. Um, the the thing that the the reason it's called a private placement, and you have uh, you have to be you have to qualify to get in them. Mm -hmm. Is because the SEC wants to make sure that your financial two things, your financial knowledge uh, is great enough that uh, you know what you're doing. Because the government you know what you're getting into. <laughs> and then number two, if your financial knowledge isn't that great, because what one of the uh, certifications is you have to have a million dollars in mm -hmm. net worth, not counting your primary residence, mm -hmm. is that you're not losing your last dime in this investment. Right. That you can afford to lose money if you don't have the financial wherewithal right. to understand the investment that you're getting in.